you are not poor because you are poor. You lack boldness. Do you know your walk can make you to be the choice? Your walk. No, no, you're not getting me. Did I tell you about that, that brother? The brother who, who, who came to the church in Zimbabwe? Front row seat. The whole front row. Leaders, pastors, elders, everyone was seated there. The guy waited by the door. He knew I, uh, those, those days I used to wear William Hunt suits. So he bought his own William Hunt suit. Now he's better than the protocol now. So when he got there, he says, oh, his, his, his prophet is in, the, in his office, right? Yes. So I, I got to know about it yesterday when he started explaining the depth of the story. He, said, he started telling them that, oh, you, you stand closer to them. <laughs> and you stand. So all of them are just thinking, hey, maybe this guy came with prophet from... This is the first time to be a church. <laughs> just standing like this. So I come out, and a guy follows me. And everyone is also following. Even removing people saw this guy too. He went to the front. He just sat front row. Sat there. They even gave me a seat. Front. So I'm preaching. I'm looking at this guy. I've never seen him in my life. <laughs> So the guy is even saying, hallelujah. <laughs> Just imagine, he's sitting there. And the guy is a drug dealer. <laughs> he's here today. <laughs> and the back there. <laughs> and the guy is a drug dealer. And he's sitting with me. Now he's sitting there and I'm preaching after preaching. The Bibles are there. Now the protocol don't even know whether they, they take the Bible because this guy is here from UK. He collected the Bibles and followed me. <laughs> Go to the office boldly and put it there. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> it's like I say, I'm selling a house in Britain. I think you are the one to buy the house. I'm trying to figure out how did he get in. I said, okay, wait for me there. I'll, I'll talk to you. Then the guy came out. The, the, I, I, I called the main protocol. I said, who is that guy? The guy's like, you don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> boldness. The mark of the Holy Ghost is boldness. That wasn't the Holy Ghost. But imagine using an atmosphere that wants to see a prophet, the Holy Ghost emboldened him to do it. I went to get to the house. The house is trying to, to sell. It's Dexter Blackstock's house. It's not even his. <laughs> I got there. Again, we, I need to build this, to buy this house. So Dexter begins to ask, so, who is this man? And he starts explaining, this is my spiritual father. I'm like, uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> so he starts as, trying to figure out, what is the spiritual father? He gets to be told this, this, uh, he does this. He says, no, if he does that, I want to see it. So I said, give me a paper and a pen. I wrote one, two, three, four, five, six. Every prophecy, including everything that he had not told anybody, he almost missed this flight, saying, just continue, please continue. Outside, there are other footballers, Mal Goldrich, all these other, you know, from Aston Villa, you know, all these guys. And they're waiting for him to go. And he's like, can you prove to me again? <laughs> Say another thing. And I kept on hammering on it, hammering on it, until we started seeing footballers in church. That's how footballers started coming to our church. on one person's boldness got me to a house to see a house that was not even his. He knew he had a problem that he needed to be fixed. But you see, the problem is, he couldn't tell me the problem. He started luring with the house, which is not even his. And within a few weeks, he comes to church. He didn't come on time after we are done. And I walk out 
of the church. I get into my car and I'm driving the car myself and the guy stands in front of the car like this. I'm like, that's that guy again. I just said, okay, well, come, come. He says, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm going to jail. I said, for what? For cocaine, was it cocaine? Cocaine. What happened? They find, found two million worth of cocaine in my house. Now, if you were not a prophet, <laughs> listen, they are not thinking it's there. They found it. <laughs> Two million worth. I, I can hear someone say, um, why wasn't he selling it fast, fast? <laughs> so I said to him, so what are you thinking of doing? He said, I'm, I'm right now. I'm thinking of finding a way to come out of the country, leave the country and just go. I said, you leave where? He said, through the airport. I said, so they won't catch you at the airport? He said, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. But I just wanted to show, tell you I'm going. I said, do you want to leave or you want to stay here? So no, no, I want to stay, but ah, uh, <laughs> they found it in my house. I said, how many are you in this gang? They said 19 or something. He had 18 other, 18 guys. He's the 19th, right? I said, okay. So the other 18 said, all of us are actually going to court. So the other ones are actually my people. So I'm the leader there because the cocaine is in my room. I said, did they plant it? They said, no. It's mine. <laughs> Do you want to leave the country? He said, no, I want to stay, but there is no other way. I will go to jail because of this. I said, do you believe I'm a prophet? He said, yes, I believe. I said, don't go. Now, I don't know whether it's Monday or Tuesday or Monday. He's on his way with the 18 there. Everyone else is already stopped at the police, arrested. Right? They go to jail waiting for the ascendance and stuff like that. A few minutes before he arrives, they called, the police called him. So you're not guilty. Stay there. Now, you are clapping for a drug dealer. You need to be born again. I'll tell you this. Someone is like, I wish I were him. I wish. Now, the issue is, he came into my environment. My angelic portal. My environment. Now, let's see what God says to the children of light. Here we go. And I say unto you, make to yourselves friends of money. Of the unrighteous. Be close to the money of the unrighteous people. <laughs> Because they are wiser than you. Oh. And they've taken all the money now. If they see you in any location, like, how is he working with these people? He's a man of God. He should have a standard of operation. A certain standard. Set standard. While they are talking like that again as angel, they are also not living according to the standard of scripture. You don't oppose a man of God. Now, now, what's this? What's this? What's this? So, the devil has already created something in them to stay away from the people that are wiser than us. Jesus did not just die. Listen, sir. Ma'am, Jesus came to live your life. And you live as if you were him. So, Jesus died the death you were supposed to die. As if you committed the crime you committed. With the sentence you were supposed to get. So Jesus was not seeing him taking your crime. No, say. When Jesus crucified him on that cross, Jesus was seeing you. God was seeing you. So he came to live as if he lived your life. And you took his life as if you were holy like him. <laughs> 